Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nikki. I'm a homeschool mom to an only child. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about my fourth grade um, history and science curriculum, which is so exciting, but yet nerve wracking because these are my top subjects I am not a fan of. Um, <laughs> But I'm excited for what we have chosen for next year. If that is something that interests you, keep watching. If you're new here, I would love to tell you about my podcast. I have a podcast with Ashley from Gathered and Grounded called Two Homeschool Moms. It airs every Monday um, on our YouTube channel of Two Homeschool Moms. And it is also aired on Two Homeschool Moms on any podcast platform that you listen to. We talk homeschool, mom life, and dive into real, raw, and relatable topics. So if you're new here, go check that out. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. I have always struggled with history and science. Um, I don't find them interesting and I don't know. I was just never a history and science kind of gal when I was in school. And my daughter, though, is definitely more into history. So we were using Curiosity Chronicles last year, and we loved Curiosity Chronicles. Do not get me wrong. Um, I'm not going to show that today, though. So I have come across some things that I have already purchased moons ago that we never really got to and I want to just make sure we get to them this year. So I'm putting History Chronicles aside for now. Also, what I'm going to be doing is this is kind of where my unschooling approach is going to come into play. Um, I have these resources, but I'm not going to be tied down to them and I'm going to let her kind of pick what we do for this. So I'm kind of releasing the reins and I'm not going to worry and stress over um, our science and history components for this year. So these are the resources that I have already. I did only purchase a couple things and we're going to be splitting it up this year. I'm not going to be doing science all year long and I'm not going to be doing history all year long. We are going to do two quarters of history and two quarters of science. So let's talk about history. So what I have for history this year that she um, kind of picked also out of our choices that I already had on hand but we're gonna kind of slow it down and read through Tuttle Twins American History textbook. So this is not, I don't even wanna say textbook, but it, I guess it's a textbook, but it's not a curriculum. Um, this is literally a storybook. There are no curriculum components to this whatsoever. Um, I know they had a printout that you could go along with this, but we're not even gonna do that. I am taking the stress out of doing history so it doesn't make us feel like it's too much. Um, so we're going to be reading through this Tuttle Twins book which is beautifully illustrated um, and I'm sure we can go down rabbit hills should rabbit hills rabbit holes <laughs> should we need to um, if there's a topic that she wants to dive down on we're going to be reading through this. I'm hoping to get through this in one quarter, but um, like I said, these are more going to be like resources than like boom, boom structure. We need to get it done. I'm not going to put this pressure on my shoulder to just like feel like I have to, like I have to finish it. Um, the next thing, I also have the other Tuttle Twin books that I got, oh my gosh, like two years ago now. And we forgot about them. So I love, we read one book and I loved it. And then for whatever reason, they got pushed aside and pushed somewhere and I never did them. So I have number two and number three. Is it number three? Yeah, I think they're in order. Number four, number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
So I think these books are probably easy to get through in one sitting. They have tons of pictures to go along with them and the font is very large. So I have complete faith that we can get through these pretty quickly. Um, but I think we can go out of order and she's going to kind of choose the ones that we want because again, I'm trying to take myself out of the equation for this to eliminate and give her kind of some freedom of choice here as well. So that is our history that we're going to be using. I do also have, um, these came with the small Tuttle Twin books. They're like activity pages. Maybe we'll use them, maybe we're not. It's just feeling kind of how she's feeling about it. But I've had them sitting with these books for a long time. So that is the plan for history. Um, at least for the two quarters that we're going to be actively doing history. The concept that I'm also going to be incorporating through history is um, taking out this book. We're going to see how she likes it. Doing the critical thinking detective book one. This is for grades four through 12. It's just a fun component. Um, it's basically going to just really dive into the critical thinking skills of trying to find out your suspects and which and who is the thieves. Um, so I think this is going to be a really fun component to add in. The other resources that I also have for this specifically um, from the Critical Co. Be another resource I'm going to have on hand for her to piece through if say she doesn't want to read a Tuttle Twin book. Um, we were, are going to work through this book which is from the Critical Thinking Co. This is the basics of critical the company sent this out to me so we're going to piece through it it's very much like the critical thinking detective um but it's gonna go over like oh my gosh there's so much i i need to do a whole video just on this but this is gonna just be another resource for her so let's move on to science um i'm excited for our science picks this is going to be in our last two quarters of the year so our last two quarters, we're going to discontinue the history picks and we're going to dive into our science picks. So I have a few resources for that. The first one is this physics for kids. Um, I purchased this on, uh, where did I get this? Oh, Book Outlet. Uh, this was fairly inexpensive on Book Outlet. There's a whole series of them. I also have the math one as well, which if you watched my math video, you'll see that in there. Um, but this is a really, really cool book. So this has experiments and activities that were inspired by awesome physicists um, from the past and the present. So you're going to learn about a person, say William Gilbert, who has electricity. Um, and then you're going to learn about him. And then you're going to get to do uh, an experiment with static electricity so i thought this would be a really cool hands-on type of approach and you're learning about the person who kind of created the stuff so i thought this would be really fun this dives into um, newton and einstein and hawking and galileo um, so i'm excited to have her pick through there and see what she wants to do the other options um, that I have that I'm hoping to have her pick what she wants to do out of it. So we're not going to utilize this curriculum from page one to page the end, you know. I'm going to have her go, okay, which topics in here do you want to learn about? And kind of have her just go through that choice. Um, so we, I have here my pals um, level four. And this is an international edition. And so this is a company out of the United States. So some of like the metrics are slightly different. Um, but I'm really excited about this. This was another, so this is the activity book that comes with it. Um, it is in black and white, but they have all different types of activities like experiments to go with the lesson. 
And then this is the child's book. As you can see, it's very small. This is not a large, a large thing whatsoever. Um, but this dives into animal parts and their functions, plant parts and their functions, life cycles, our natural resources, states of matter, motion and forces, types of forces, forms and uses of energy, sources of energy, properties of light and properties of sound. So as you can see, it is in color. And I got this off of Rainbow Resource. But it's very like simple um, readings. I mean, so many pictures and very little readings about them. So that was like lesson one. It was like two pages. And then you, I also have the teacher's guide here, which is going to walk me through and kind of explain how to engage with the lessons, exploring them, explaining them, e elaborating them, um, evaluating. And for like advanced learners, there is options and struggling learners, there is options. And then if she wants to do an activity that correlates with that, just like a normal curriculum. Um, but my pals has been in my cart for I don't even know how long and I just decided to give it a go. This is their second edition. So it is brand spanking new. Um, it is no longer in like, I think there used to be like a book A, a book B. Um, and it was kind of pricey by doing that. But now it's just all in one book. And I'm so excited. I hope she picks some really fun topics from it. I think she's going to dive into this book way more than anything, honestly. Lastly, for science is I did pick up a Becca's Developing Good Health. Um, this is their fourth edition. And I don't remember if there was like a grade level on it or not or if it was just okay yeah so this is for grade four understanding right yeah so this is for grade four developing good health um, my daughter has had some health things going on in this past year so I kind of wanted to just give her a resource where we can kind of learn about our bodies and our health and what that looks like, developing it. I love that it's all in beautiful color. Um, it's really not that thick of a, uh, not that thick of a book and the lessons are not overly long, which is like a huge, huge plus for me. Um, because I definitely get overwhelmed and then it does have cool like recipes throughout which I noticed it has like a moon a moon immune boosting chicken soup so I thought that was really cool um, and so I got the textbook and then I got the activity book and the activity book key um, I, if there is a teacher's guide, I didn't get it. I figure it's something we can both kind of work through together um, for whatever topics that she wants to dive into. But the activity book is cool. It is in color for the student. And it seems um, like there are, like this one's construct a model of a heart. Uh, another activity is... Um, the cleaning power of soap and water. Um, so there's lots of hands-on components with this health as well. Again, we likely won't be doing it from like front cover to, uh, to the back cover. It's just a resource that I want to have on hand and I'm going to try to kind of, what do you call that? Stew or strew um, by kind of like leaving it out and hoping that she's able to kind of piece through and look through the things that she's interested in learning about. Um, so that is all I have for our science for quarter three and four. So I'm hoping this new schedule will help us kind of dive into the fun of learning and kind of um, unschooling, but like 
having these resources to kind of guide us down our rabbit holes. Um, so yeah, that's our history and science for fourth grade. Let me know, have you ever done this type of schedule where you alternate and don't do it all year long? Um, as you know, I tend to change things or, you know, swap things if I see that they're not working that way. So maybe, um, if I don't do it that way, I'll just have science on one day, history on another, and so forth. I haven't fully decided, but I'm leaning towards the quarter semester aspects of it. So let me know down in the comments if you've used any of these. If you have any questions, I'll be here to answer and I'll see you in my next video.